Hi, I'm Idris Goodwin, director of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. You know, Colorado Springs is the home of many different walks of life, but certainly it has its share of artists uh, across different kinds of mediums. And in this very challenging time, uh, we feel it necessary to continue to keep in touch and try to support the arts community of our city. So with that, I've started this series of check-ins with artists. My guest today is Floyd Tunson. Floyd is a son of Colorado, a exceptional artist with great range and great depth. His exhibition, Son of Pop, is definitely one of the most talked about and most remembered exhibitions in Fine Arts Center history. And we are so lucky to call him one of our own. So with that, here's my conversation with Floyd Tunson. All right, Floyd Tunson, how are you? You're doing well, Idris. How about um, yourself? Oh man, I'm hanging in there, man, hanging in there. And I remember even when I had the pleasure to finally um, go into your, your studio, I remember like seeing the Haitian dream boats like packed away, like up to the side. And I was like, that's not what it is. He got them in the closet or something. <laughs> um, because I think the reason why people remember them so much is that when you come into the space and you would go up those stairs, they were like leading yeah. you, leading you to the rest of the Took you all the way down that corridor. Yeah, they made that turn and then they went crashing down into with the piece behind it, which is um, a drift, mm. which had that figure that's a float in the water. They're so iconic. Like, where did those come from? Like, what was the vision? You know, that was way back when they, all the Haitians were trying to get to the United States, and uh -huh, you know. Yeah. If you made it to the States, you were fine. If you didn't make mm -hmm. it, you had to go back. They were all getting in these boats, overloading them and having tragedies on the ocean and so forth. But they were trying to make it to another place. And that's why I call them dream boats. Mm. You know, they're really ephemeral because they're just ideals. They're just a dream mm. because they're not in reality. It, most of them didn't make it. If you had to define your relationship as an artist of Colorado, you know, or even or even more specifically the Colorado Springs region, you know, how would you define that relationship? Because I know you you've told me this before. Like it was not always friendly to you, you know. I think once I had my first one man show at the Fine Arts Center, then I had I had a different community that was had more affinity for what I was doing. And took me more seriously. And then mm -hmm. once people will take you seriously, I think you take yourself more seriously too. But unfortunately, in that first show, there was also a piece in there called First Degree Murder, where it, it dealt with uh, the shooting of my brother in Denver in 1973 wow. by the police. Wow. So all this stuff that everybody's talking about is not new to me at all. Yeah. I've already experienced it through my family. This black the, the shooting of black individuals by the police is not new to me, mm. not new to my family. I, I feel like there's a certain responsibility being a black artist that I have to deal with those particular subjects or I have to deal with those particular images. And I think that <clears throat> I feel that I've been doing that. As you say, I'm pretty eclectic, but the majority of my work deals with that. Mm. <clears throat> but I happened to be able to show that particular piece in that show mm. in 1974, actually. Wow. So it's, it's just been a really supportive community. Mm. They have purchased work for the Fine Arts Center for me. Um, so it's not just, you know, they put their money where their mouth is in many occasions when they can. Mm. That's wonderful, man. Well, we, we definitely want to continue in that tradition and really celebrate and honor the people you know who have, you know who, who who make up the cultural fabric of the city because I, I agree with you i mean that's why i'm part of why i'm coming back is there's something really unique about it and um and i i found it was an interesting place to make work and um, it is if you can't make work in colorado springs i don't know where you're going to be able to make work i'm sure a lot of people have asked me why did you stay in colorado springs or why are you in colorado springs they always ask me why are you still here you know, and I just tell them, you know, because I'm capable of doing what I really set out to do. I can do it here. If I can do it here, why would I go somewhere else and, yeah. and struggle? You know, That's I'm great. doing fine. Yeah.
Yeah. I, my final questions, I have just like lightning round questions. These are just like finish this sentence kind of questions. My favorite place in Colorado to go when I'm feeling good is? The mountains. The last song that was stuck in my head was? Book of Rules. Book of Rules, who's that by? Heptones. Oh, cool, man. My favorite tool to use in art making right now is? A pencil. Or a pen. My name is Floyd Tunson, and I am a? An artist. Yeah, bro. All right, man. Well, thank you for taking this time with us. I uh, appreciate it, man. Stay healthy, keep working, and uh, we can't wait to see uh, what you got next for us. You too, Idris. Can't wait to see what you have up for us next, and can't wait to see you in person again.